Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your Mercury Retrograde in Aquarius reading. Mercury Retrograde, we are in the shadow period right now. Take a look at the screen real quickly so I can explain what this is. On the screen is the calendar of the retrograde, so you have a visual representation of what I'm talking about. The blue color is the shadow period that we're in. The pink color is when we're in retrograde. The red is when it actually goes retrograde, and those are wild days. And the darker the color, the more stronger the powerful and powerful the energy is. And then brown is when we're coming out of the retrograde and we're in the post-shadow period. Uh, and the darker the color, like I said, the stronger the energy. We're gonna take a look at the sun, wind, and rising signs of the Gemini Collective. We're gonna take a look at your energy if it does not resonate with you because this is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody. Uh, if it doesn't, you can take a look at your other astrology signs in your astrology chart. Uh, you can assign the roles as you please because the energies can be reversed and they are fluid. So understand that if you may not be seeing the energy right this moment. So a lot of people keep coming back to the video throughout the month to say, you know, to get more advice or to see it play out or to see where they're going next. So you can always do that as well. You can also uh, get a personal reading, you know, in the description box down below is my information because your um, experience might be too specific for a video that's on YouTube. But re remember, if it doesn't resonate with you, stick around because there might be something in it you need to hear. If you're wanting to know about the Jupiter and Pisces reading that I just did for all of the signs, it is on the screen above. And I always have suggested videos at the end. Jupiter in Pisces, that video right there is not segmented. I do not have it cut up because I want you to see the entire pie, not just your piece. Don't just focus in on your piece. Look at what's happening with everybody around you so you can get a very clear picture of what energies we're dealing with. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. Let's talk. First of all, before I do, I want to thank the people who've already subscribed. If you're new here, welcome, and thank you for checking my channel out. And if you'd like to take a second to do so now, then go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. All right, here we go. Gemini, let's talk about um, Aquarius first, because we have to see what energies we're dealing with when we're daring, dealing with the retrograde. Well, it's in the sign of Aquarius, which is a very intuitive sign. I forgot to tell the other um, sign that. It's extremely intuitive. It's a BS detector. Uh, Aquarius is amazing. It's in Aquarius's first house, which is how we are viewed by other people, how we see people and how we are viewed by people. And Mercury is about communication. In the Jupiter and Pisces, we know that there's divine communication coming. I've listened to multiple readers online and they're all saying the same thing. Your person is coming. That talk is happening. Something is, for, for most of us, our talks are happening. The divine communication is coming in. All right. Gemini, for you specifically, for Mercury, it's going to light up your fifth house. That means that you are looking at fun and romance and things that you create, things that you are proud of, things that you, um, you know, it's romance. Look at that. Look at this card. It's just so awesome. Look at this. This reminds me of Jupiter right here and this love that's in there. It's just being highlighted. Look at, you know, they're playing in the water and there's love, like hearts hanging out in the water and she's got her leg up and she's like, oh, I'm so in love with you. Uh, and, and this person's drawing and they're drawing out their passions and they're drawing each other and it's just beautiful, right? They're admiring each other, the different specific qualities that each other possess that you just love and fall in love with, right? I wouldn't doubt it if we get the lover's card, Gemini, <laughs> in this because it's just reeking of love all over it. Let's find out what your major theme is. What's the retrograde going to be focusing for you? Um, ooh. I don't know. I bet you're going to get your card, the card of Gemini, which is the lover's card. Let's see, though. All right. Let's check it out. Gemini, we're going to bring some peace into your life. How beautiful is that? And relationships, peace around relationships. You're the third person that got relationships. Yeah, Taurus did, got relationships and so did Aries. It's like relationships. All of us are dealing with relationships. All right, and we're bringing you some peace. Peace. Speaking of peace, 
You should get brought to you by Peace Oil. I'm just kidding. It's in the description box down below. <laughs> anyway. Whew. All right, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Coupled with one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have a divine relationship, although I do not have the lover's card. This could be a divine relationship in your career, okay? But I do have a divine relationship. I have a king and a queen. Um, it doesn't matter what gender you are. Somebody is possessing the qualities of being very generous. They're visionary. They plan. They work hard. They're reliable. They're supportive. They're protective. They're security. They're loyal. And they resolve conflicts very well. And on the other side of that, we have a queen of wands. And she is very entrepreneurial. She's a counselor. She's supportive. She's social. She's self-aware. She makes good choices. She expresses herself. She's full of opportunities. And... She's about stepping into your power. Okay, so we have a divine counterparts of different suits. So we have a grounded energy and a fiery energy together. Let's see where this is gonna go. The how you're feeling this month is you want to move towards your happiness. You are sick and tired of living a life that does not bring you happiness on a daily basis. You want something to bring you happiness as you wake up in the morning, when you look at that person, or when you, when you know you're going to that job, it brings you happiness. When you're coming home to that person, it brings you happiness. Or you, when, you're, when you leave that job and you still think about it, it still brings you happiness. It's like that, you want something that is going to be substantially your happiness. So if we're working on romance, which I think that we are because that's what it says in the cards that's highlighted this month for you, you want someone that um, when you look at them, you feel joy in your heart. You know, you feel inspired by them. You feel happiness by them, okay? And you're willing to fight for it. You're willing to go for it. You're willing to take a leap of faith. You want your happiness. You are tired of not having it. What energy is coming towards you? Guess what? Oh, I love it. Your happiness. <laughs> your emotional lottery. Your wish fulfilled. Your dreams are coming true. Because you know why? You're actually following your intuition and your inner guidance. And when you do that, you will win. Wow. That's, that's awesome. You are going to win because you have the guidance inside of you. They are telling you what to do. All you have to do is follow what they're saying. Your inner guidance is made up of your highest guides that are walking you through life that said they will always be there with you as you go through life and all you have to do is ask and they will show you. It is made up of your loved ones that have passed, that are doing nothing on the other side except for wishing you well in your heart. They're trying to show you the way. Show me the way. I don't know what song that is, but it's something. But they're trying to show you where to go and what to do. All you have to do is listen to it. Your ancestors, your loved ones in spirit, follow the light, follow your heart, follow your happiness. What makes you happy? Go in that direction and go with the speed of lightning in that direction. Go without haste. All right. What's hidden that you can't see? Oh my gosh. I love this reading so much. What's hidden that you can't see? Your happiness is there. It's always been there. Your inner guidance is guiding you towards your happiness. Even if it seems like something you're scared of. If you think it will make you happy, it will. But you might be scared saying... But that, I can never have that. You are wrong. You are wrong. And your inner guidance has been screaming at you forever now to go in this direction. So whatever you felt has been your heart that's been screaming at you and you've been telling it no, you are holding yourself back. Here it is right here. The obstacle in your way. This slow ass king of knights. I rarely cuss on this channel, but it deserves it. <laughs> this, this, I mean, this king of knights, no, this knight of pentacles. He is the slowest moving, molasses wearing, 
MF in the deck, dude. He is so slow. Whenever I see this guy, when I'm trying to manifest something and I see that he's in the way, I like want to kick him in his nuts. <laughs> I do. I'm like, Oh, get out of the way. You are totally making things go too slow. I can't take it. And anybody who knows these cards, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, he is so slow. He just ho-hums through the manifestation. He's a hard worker, though. I got to give it to him. And he's productive. And he's about routine. He's awesome like that. I get that, right? But he's a perfectionistic person. He, um, he's just, he, he makes, it's a feeling of being stuck. Coupled with this six of pentacles, which is you not taking care of yourself. Your love that you have been receiving has been one-sided. It's time for you to take action towards what you want and what you need. Go towards this generous person. Go towards the generosity. Okay, um, the thing that is supporting you though is that you do want this reunion. And you are, you are wanting to uh, be in the energy of love. You do want to bring this person good news. Um, you want good news about love. You do want to enjoy your life. Uh, you are focusing in on that. And that is going to bring you your happiness is going to bring you, bring you your love. Um, focus on that generosity. Somebody in your life is not generous. Somebody in your life is... Um, they're a big taker, and not everybody is like that. Go towards the generous person. Go towards the generous heart. This is a reunion. You have this is somebody you already know. We're in Mercury retrograde, so it's going to be someone you already know. Um, celebrate with them. Have friendship with them. Collaborate with them. Hone in on your independence, on what you need. And that is about you independently going towards this person and saying, this is what I need, okay? Um, the overall outcome, which is if you follow this intuition and if you do what the universe is asking you to do, you will be able to put your burdens down. You will be able to leave with all your stuff. You'll be able to leave with everything you've learned. Um, pick up your toys and go home. You know what I mean? But you're actually pick up your you're actually picking up your toys and going into the direction of generosity. Go towards the angel energy. I want more outcome. I want to see what, what else is going on with Gemini. What would this relationship bring Gemini? What would this taking this leap of faith to have this love with this person, whether it's friendship? or actual love go towards that enjoy your life with this person enjoy your life here we go let me see so um, if you do this you will have a new beginning you will have lots of breakthroughs in your life lots of mental clarity new ideas new everything newness you will transform majorly transform into what you want to be. It's going to take some reminiscing chats. It's going to take you talking to this person and opening up to this person and sharing yourself with this person. Any kind of lack of direction that you have felt, it's because you didn't go towards this direction that the inner light is trying to guide you towards. Make the decision today to do it jump jump bring the truth be the page of swords go towards your soul contract whatever this is this is in the it's in the contract that you said that you would do be alert to your intuition it's trying to help you Go towards your queen of cups. Go towards the person who treasures people, the ideal romantic partner, the ideal partner, the person who knows how to be intimate and emotional, knows how to set boundaries though. The, the healthy person, 
the person who's caring, they're loving, they make the world a better place, just being here, just being around this person, you feel like you're a better person. Knowing this person, you feel like you're a better person. Follow the love, follow the happiness, follow your heart and follow your dreams. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful, Gemini. I hope you like this reading or entertain in some way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. On the screen is your suggested videos and I cannot wait until I see you again.